Hi, how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight Video Leap tutorial. In this Video Leap tutorial, I'm going to um, I'm going to do some um, text transitions animations um, just to put over a project. There's lots that you can do, and I'm just going to cover just a few here, and then in a later video, I'll I'll do some more. So I'm just going to choose this untitled project here, and all I've got in this project is just somebody on a, a bicycle. I just took these pictures in the summer. Um, just randomly taking pictures of people on bikes um, and I've just added a few transitions to them so that's that's easy to do I've shown you how to drag things into projects before just watch some of my other videos there on there and then what we're gonna do is just sort of um, add some floating text and animate some text and, um, and and it's quite easy to do so I'm gonna go to the start of my playhead timeline here and then I'm gonna click the little text button down here now what this brings up is a um, is is text that's been added to this part of the project. Now if I wanted to extend this, I'd just take the end, hold it out, and drag it, and it'll give you the seconds counter. You can see the seconds counter going up or down, just right there. It gives you the seconds counter that um, the so it tells you the duration it's going to be in the project for. Now if I look at this image below it. Now this is eight seconds, you can see that this is eight seconds long, I can change the duration of this as well, the same way as I did with the text. Um, and then I go back to the text so I know my, um, my image is eight seconds long, although there's this fade transition right here. But the image is eight seconds long and then the, um, the text is eight seconds long. Now to edit the text, as it says, I'm just gonna double tap. So I've just double tapped and because I'm on my, um, I'm actually on an iPad, Pro 10 and a half and size 10 and a half. So, um, got the keyboard and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna tap, double tap, and um, I'll get this this text sort of um, option at the bottom. I'm just gonna type te text. I'll just leave it as summer. I'm just gonna leave it just, just, just summer like that. Um, I'm not gonna try and do anything too fancy, and that's not the point. The point of showing you what I'm doing here is um, showing you the animated text. So I'm just going to click this little tick button in the bottom right hand side to say I'm done with that text and then I suppose we could change the font so we've just got fonts right here and we can change the font of this text and I just want to keep it really simple so I'm just going to select this open sans. Now I want to go back to my uh, to my original menu I click the double arrows here. Now what I could do um, I could change the colour by selecting a color swatch but I just want to keep it as I mentioned nice and simple um, and I could also um, the outline is is annotated or edited with the stroke so I go to the width of the outline and um, so you can change the color on that as well if you like I don't want an outline so I'm just gonna click back and like I said my text is really really simple all I want to do is animate it so I'm gonna come back in my timeline and slide my finger along my timeline and just come back to the start of my timeline and then I'm gonna drag this text up off my screen but so I can still see the box around the outside now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click the little keyframe button on the right hand side here bottom right hand side so that keyframes that text and that text won't move it will stay in that corner for the duration um, that that text is in um, but what I want to do is I want to move my timeline along till I get to this sort of eight second marker just to the end of the text and then I'm just going to drag the text down the screen and back off the other side. So now over that duration I play that my text will float over the screen and, um, and go off the other side of the screen as the other image comes in. So Let's go back a little bit and go back to this keyframe here. So I've put my text over the keyframe where my um, where my text leaves the screen. What I want to do is over this duration, I want that text to fade out. So it almost won't get off the end of the screen. It will have faded out beforehand. So I'm just going to hover over this keyframe right here and it becomes pink and animated um, and and um, comes becomes pink and active. Then I'm just going to click opacity. Now, when the key, when the text comes in, you're going to see it fully. But by the time it gets to this point, it's going to have faded away, dissolved away. So you can see that that's happened now. If I click that playhead, 
over that duration it will just nice and slowly fade out so that when that other image fades in that summer text is fading out so let's go to the start of this image fading in and out let's click little um, back to go back to the previous menu so that you see that folds that text up and if I want to animate it again or edit it again I just have to click the little um, the little text icon um, and then to fold it I just click the image so I'm gonna add click go back so obviously it's opened another menu for for me so I click the image so I've got nothing selected okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some more text so I'm just gonna click the little text button right here I'm gonna extend that text out so it's eight seconds long like so I'm gonna double tap we're just gonna change the text click the little tick button to change the text go back to the start of this timeline right here and drag this text off the screen okay so I'm gonna click my little keyframe button so that's where it starts the bottom right hand side go up to the towards the end of the text and drag it back this way off the screen like so but also this time you know that this is gonna fade left to right on the screen I'm gonna click opacity once we're up there and drag that opacity down so now if we play through that that summer fades out the biking um, sort of um, comes in and fades out again but I'll tell you what I didn't do or I've just noticed so obviously this is active now this text I can go and change the font after I've made any changes and change it to to, um, to open sans <coughs> So now this will fade in as that one fades out, which is quite a nice transition. But could we make it smooth? Let's have a look. We want them overlapping. I suppose we could have them overlapping. To make them overlapping, I'm just going to highlight this text here and then drag this down. And then I will have to change my um, keyframes. What is a shame is that. And I really think the need to do this is you can't move the keyframes once they're in play. You have to keep them active. So this is good to show that um, that we've we've made a mistake. I'm just going to remove keyframes. So to remove the keyframes, you hover over them and then just um, and then just click the little remove button. So let's go here where that one starts and um, keyframe go to the end of this bring the um, bring the text across click the opacity again and then fade that out so now it should look a little smoother with that coming in just as the other ones fading out which is quite nice that one fades out as that one fades out we start a new image so here on a new image to go back to our menu click the text again drag that out towards the end of the project just seven seconds in fact we want to go eight seven seconds yeah that's fine that's fine this time we are going to keep this text so we're gonna um, just call this the views maybe click the little plus button now with this what I want to do on this one I want this text to be a bit bolder I suppose Let's have a look at this no it's a bit too So there's lots of text that you can have. No, actually, I'm just going to stick with that original text that I had. Go to the start of that text coming in. I'm going to pinch and squeeze and make it really small with my fingers. Just move it to the center. Pinch and squeeze. Click the keyframe button. Scroll all the way up to the end of the project. Pinch and squeeze. Pinch and squeeze. Um, pinch and squeeze some more just like get the this like so and then so that should play nicely as we bring in the views we could even I suppose sorry I moved my text I didn't want to move a text um, and I've created a keyframe there <laughs> so I'm just going to remove that keyframe so what we could do is we could move this text again but then we'd have to redo our keyframes yep this is really um, quite simple quite effective 
And if we let that play through, you'll see what it's like at the end. You can put some music over it or whatever. Um, but that's animating text. There's lots of other ways that you can animate text with some stock sort of um, some stock things that you can do. So you could sort of mask it, I suppose. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's you, could, you could blend it in different ways, like so. So we could have our our text blended um, a bit like this, or like this, or like this. Um, yeah, so we could have the text blended like this. It's quite nice that overlay. So that will just overlay the text, the final one. So it'll take on the, the, the form of the background as well. So that's quite nice. Um, what else could we do? Um, quite quickly. Let's have a look. We could add a, have a shadow, I suppose, to the text. Let's have a look. We could have a add a shadow to the text. Just make that shadow a little bit bigger, but you probably wouldn't see it. So the shadow just just beyond the text on the edges there. So that makes the text just look a little bit. Um, you could even turn the opacity up the way so you could see more of the shadow. Um, make it a different colour if you wanted. Change the softness of the shadow so it sort of blurred if you like. Ramp the opacity up a bit more so now you've got a bit more of a um, of a text effect going on as well. But that's just like really basic text effect. So that's quite nice. I hope this video has helped you out. I'll do lots more with um, with text, animating text, and um, the, the, the type of things that you can do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.